Hi! I honestly don't even really know where to start with this video. It's been so long now since I filmed and whoo, I, it's, yeah, I, I don't really know what I'm doing. Hello. So I guess I should just start off by saying that this is basically just going to be an update video. It's going to be me talking about myself. A little bit about my animals but mostly about me I guess so if you are someone who does not care to hear all about me and my life and my updates that's totally fine you don't have to watch a video you don't care about me that's okay if you're just here for the animals that is totally fine and hopefully some more videos in the future will be more down your alley but yeah today I am just going to be sitting here on my floor in my pajamas talking about basically this whole past year and just what has happened, why I've been so inconsistent on YouTube, why I haven't uploaded in like two months and all of that fun stuff. So yeah, let's talk about that I guess. I do also want to say that this video is probably going to be long and rambly. I don't know how much editing I'll do on this, but just putting it out there. Anyways, let's go back to December. So December of 2019. I was doing Vlogmas, so I was attempting to upload every day. I wasn't doing it every single day, but I was all right with it. And then towards like the last half of Vlogmas, I just stopped, I just stopped it. I stopped uploading for Vlogmas and I took some time and just thought about it and realized I wasn't having fun with what I was doing. You know, I wasn't having fun trying to film a video every day and that made me reflect kind of just on my channel as a whole and made me realize that I just wasn't really enjoying the kind of content that I was making anymore. Most of my content at the time was uh, a lot of vlog style stuff. I was doing a lot of just like pet store vlogs, pet room vlogs and stuff like that. And I just wasn't really having fun with it. I found it kind of boring. I found it repetitive. So I decided that I was going to take a step back from YouTube in December of 2019. I made a video announcing that uh, in that video I originally said that I was going to be gone for a month and then I would be back and uploading as usual. That didn't end up happening. I ended up uh, taking about two months off actually so I didn't come back until like the end of February or something like that and then I started uploading again but it just I never really accomplished anything in that time in my time off from YouTube I really wanted to take some time and like reflect on my previous content figure out how I can make content that I enjoy making just how I can make my videos better everything like that. I wanted to get a lot accomplished during that time and I ended up basically getting none of it accomplished. I ended up unexpectedly having to travel a bunch for work. I also got a new puppy that month and yeah so I really didn't get any of the stuff I wanted to get done done but I just said you know what whatever let's just go back to YouTube. I can continue working on this stuff and uploading at the same time. So that was my plan. So now we're in February and I was uploading again. However, I wasn't really consistent with my uploads. They were really only happening maybe every two weeks or something. And the biggest reason for that was honestly just motivation, I guess. I had a really hard time coming up with videos that I wanted to film or that seemed enjoyable to film or anything like that. I just really, really felt like I was at a total block with my creativity and my content. I just could not think of any videos that I wanted to film that would be enjoyable to film. You know, it's easy to sit here and think like, oh, I could do this and I could do this and I could do this. You know, I have tons of ideas of things that I could do, but if it's not something I truly want to do, then why would I do it, right? If it's not something I'm going to enjoy, then why would I do it? So I just had, I had a really hard time trying to come up with content that I enjoyed. So for a few months over like February, March, and probably April, I don't really remember, but over a few months earlier this year, I was putting out videos. However, I, was, I wasn't liking them. You know, I was never really happy with them. I was aware of the fact I was only posting them just to post something. I wasn't posting them because I loved those videos. You know, not to say I hated all of them. Some of them are still decent videos, but like my heart just wasn't truly in those videos that I was making, if that makes sense. 
During this whole past year, I have also really struggled um, just with YouTube as a whole because of my anxiety. I'm not talking about this for any like pity or to make excuses or anything. I'm just literally just saying what has been happening in my life over the past all through 2020, I guess. So as you guys know, we are in a pandemic right now and we have been since like March. Depending on, you know, what country you live in and stuff, things are totally different all around the world. However, here in Canada, you know, we're still in a pandemic. Things aren't awful here, but you know, they're not great. And with this pandemic, I ended up getting really, really bad anxiety and struggling with it a lot. I have dealt with anxiety like my whole life, you know, even as a child and a teenager and everything, but it was never anything that was super bad for me. It was always fairly manageable. You know, it wasn't interfering with my day-to-day -day life. You know, I still had anxiety and it was still an issue sometimes, but it was never anything uh, that was a big issue in my life, if that makes sense. It was always fairly manageable. However, when this whole pandemic started, um, I started to get very, very bad anxiety over just a lot of things, honestly, over, to, you know, work and financial stuff and YouTube and also, like, health and dying and everything like that. I've really, really been having a hard time with anxiety over the past few months. There was a period of time back in June where I was waking up every single day at five in the morning having a six hour long anxiety attack, like throwing up all morning because of the attack and everything like that. So this has obviously made it really, really hard to focus time on YouTube because I have really been trying to deal with my anxiety. Again, I'm not saying any of this for like pity or anything like that, you know, totally not the reason for this. I'm just explaining what has been going on, but you know, things got really, really bad and I did end up in the hospital and I'm not gonna go into too much detail and everything like that, you know, I just don't, don't feel the need to do that right now, but we can just say I was dealing with a lot of mental health related stuff over the past few months, which has also made it incredibly difficult to focus time on YouTube and to put my energy into it because I've just been, you know, the past few months I have just felt drained of my energy constantly because of my anxiety and trying to deal with that and work through it and everything. That is kind of what's been going on. <laughs> Uh, that is like a very brief rundown of everything there, you know, obviously this is like eight months worth of time that I'm trying to explain. So there's so much that I'm just like skipping over, but I don't know. I just really wanted to give you guys a quick update on what has been happening and now to also kind of give you guys an update on where I want to go from here. So right now I am feeling pretty good about YouTube. I am still, you know, dealing with my own stuff privately, you know, mental health related stuff. I am still dealing and taking care of that and everything, but I do feel like right now I am at a point where I just really want to get back on YouTube and I really want to get back to making videos. And thankfully I seem to have kind of gotten over that creative block that I was having back in March, April, May, June, whenever, I don't really remember because now I have a lot of ideas and ideas that I'm excited about. I have a lot of videos that I really want to film and I think will be fun to film and fun for you guys to watch and exciting and I'm really, really, really happy about that. And now I do wanna talk about my channel a little bit because there's going to be some changes on my channel now in the next couple months and stuff. So I originally wanted to take some time off and do a rebrand. However, I'm thinking now, I don't think I wanna take any more time off. I think I wanna just get back to uploading videos as is and kind of work on a rebrand over a you know span of more, I don't know, a few months or whatever. So right now I do wanna get back to uploading videos, but I am also going to be changing up my content a little bit. So let's talk about that, I guess. So my biggest thing that I want to do is, you know, I really want to put out just better quality content for you guys. And I also really want to switch the focus of my channel more from just like, 
casual vlog type stuff to actual more educational stuff. Now me personally, I know when it comes to pet videos, you know there are educational videos, there are entertaining videos. I want to say now, I do not think one is better than the other. I think both are important. For a really long time on my channel, I avoided making any videos that were too educational. I was insecure about it. I felt like, you know, I, I don't know, I just doubted myself a lot saying, you know, what gives me the right to make educational videos? Like, just, you know, just doubting myself a lot, thinking that, you know, I shouldn't make educational videos, that I should just stick to, like, vlogs and stuff. But I learned I, I really love doing educational stuff. So for those of you who don't know, I was working at a zoo and I was doing shows and everything for a while. Um, obviously when the pandemic hit, doing birthday parties and shows and stuff kind of had to stop. But for a while I was going out and I was doing um, educational presentations with animals. So I would take different animals with me, uh, mostly reptiles, but also some other animals like, you know, we had skunks and birds and whatever and stuff like that. So I would take these animals out and I would do shows, whether it was for a birthday party or for an event or whatever, and just, you know, talk about these animals, teach people about these animals, and I found that I really, really enjoyed doing that. And I think that's kind of the direction I want my content to go in now. Again, I don't want it to be anything like super crazy formal and professional, but I do want to lean more in that direction now than I have previously. And I know maybe not everyone will be happy about this change. For those of you who, you know, maybe just really liked my casual vlog style content, I know maybe this isn't like my new content maybe isn't going to be for you and that's okay um however you know this is my channel and i'm going to make the content that i want to make if you want to stick around for that then obviously i appreciate that so much and i really hope you do however if you decide that this just isn't your thing anymore that's understandable and totally fine. So yeah, that's kind of where I want to go from here and I'm excited about it. So during my time off YouTube, you know, it wasn't time away from my animals. Obviously my animals were still being cared for and not only were they being cared for, but during my time off YouTube, I was working on so many enclosure upgrades. Like I can look around the room right now and think I upgraded both of my Parsons chameleons, I upgraded my leaf tail geckos, I'm about to upgrade my Aki monitor. I have an enclosure behind me right here being built for a chameleon uh, over around the corner. There's two more enclosures being built for some other animals, uh, like more upgrades being built. I upgraded like five geckos on that shelf. I upgraded one of my other chameleons, more geckos. I did a lot of upgrades. I'm about to upgrade all of my ball pythons. Anyways, so yeah, I have done a lot of exciting things in my pet room, so I'm really excited to show all of this off to you, and I'm just really excited to bring you guys along. I don't really know what I'm saying. I'm getting kind of rambly at this point. I'm just excited, but also nervous, and I don't know. I'm just rambling now, but yeah, I am, I'm excited for my channel now, and I can genuinely say that because the past, like, eight months, I haven't been excited about YouTube at all. It's been so hard to think about creating videos and I just could, I don't know, I was just, it, it just wasn't exciting at all and it's finally exciting again and you know, that is exciting. <laughs> so with all of that said, I do just also want to thank you guys for your patience and understanding over the last eight, nine months. I know for those of you who, you know, really enjoy watching my videos, you know, it probably sucked not having you know, the same content that you normally want to watch. So I do want just, I really want to thank you guys for continuing to support me and being so patient and understanding. And I hope that from here on forward, things will be better for me. And in result of that, better for the viewers, better for you. So yeah, I, I don't know. I think I'll just end the video here because if I keep going on, I'm just going to ramble so much. So like, what's the point? Should probably just stop that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm I'm back on YouTube. I'm excited to be back on YouTube. I hope that you guys are also excited 
So yeah, um, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna end the video. Thank you guys for watching. It feels weird to say like, like and subscribe on this video because it's just like a weird update. So like, I don't know. Thanks for watching. I will see you all in my next videos, which is so exciting to say. Yay, yay. I'm excited. All right, thank you guys. Thank you guys for the support and I look forward to the future and just what's to come for this channel.